Good news for Secretary of State John Kerry. Today, the Swift Boat Veterans for Truth released their long-awaited official report clearing the former presidential candidate of any dishonesty about his Vietnam War record. For the past nine years, our fact-finding organization has searched for the truth about John Kerry's military service. Today, I am happy to say that all of our doubts have been settled and John Kerry was entirely honest about his war record. He did, in fact, fight nobly and courageously in Vietnam. Since playing a major role in the 2004 election, the Swift Boat Vets spent millions of dollars on their research, poring over records in military archives and interviewing thousands of people, including historians, politicians, and other Vietnam veterans who served with John Kerry. In addition to the group's main headquarters in Washington, D.C., they also set up a field office in Hanoi in order to get eyewitness testimony from former Viet Cong soldiers and civilians. We left no stone unturned. What we found paints a very flattering picture of John Kerry. He volunteered for service in Vietnam rather than being drafted. He was awarded two Purple Hearts for shrapnel wounds. In 69, he expertly avoided an ambush, effectively saving his boat and entire crew. The evidence is overwhelming. John Kerry is a hero. The extensive report released today by the investigative organization goes as far as to endorse John Kerry for president in 2004, and it has put a series of long-standing questions to rest with voters nationwide. Now that I know that Kerry didn't betray his shipmates and lie before the Senate, I definitely would have voted for him. John Kerry himself released a statement praising the group's efforts, saying, quote, Thanks to the Swift Boat veterans' dogged pursuit of the truth, I can finally rest easy, knowing for certain that I did not exaggerate my accomplishments in battle. And now that they've concluded their research, the Swift Boat vets will move on to examining whether John Edwards' $400 haircut means he's out of touch with the concerns of average Americans. When we come back, meet the hardworking engineers who murder the internet each time it becomes sentient.